that just makes me sound like a loner. Hey guys, it's Nedja again and I'm back. I'm back in 2017. I know it's like the third, the 4th of January by the time I post this, but better late than never. Still New Year, so Happy New Year! Today, after I don't know how long I haven't done top 5 Wednesday, I'm finally going to do a top 5 Wednesday video. And for today's topic, it is the top 5 2017 goals. So I'm not going to put these goals into specific as in reading goals because you know, I've done that last year and I haven't really achieved some of them. So this is going to be a random goal. May it be my personal goal, my study goals, and stuff like that. My top five goals in 2017. For the first goal, of course, my reading goal. My reading goal for this year is 50 books as put on Goodreads, but I hope that I could read more because this year I read like 55 books and I thought that I could do better. So I hope that this year maybe I could do better than last year. 60. Maybe about 60 books. Hmm. Let's just see. The next one is also my reading goal. I wanted to read more diverse books as 2017 is the year of diverse books and I'm really excited to explore more of these diverse books and I feel like a lot of debut authors also wanted to um, publish their own debut novels on diversity. It's like so excited. I think I'm going to do a, another video, a separate video on diverse books I am excited to read this year but not sure so we'll see. The next one is my personal goals. I wanted to go traveling. If you're not following me on any other social media which I have been bragging and have been tweeting a lot about my goals on traveling. Right now, I am saving money, like, like five ringgit per day. Uh, so by the end of the year, I will probably get around 2,000 ringgit, which is kind of a good thing. I mean, at that time, I will probably have enough money to go traveling. Places that is on my list right now is um, London and maybe Australia? Not so sure. But let's just say if I don't have enough money, I might probably just go like Asian countries. But you know, that's also abroad too. I mean, I want to travel abroad. South Malaysia is abroad. So the next one is I want to update my blog a lot more often. I haven't really been updating <laughs> since August, you know, like now it's already 2017. So in 2017, my goal is to update my vlog more often, let it be a book review or a movie review or just my personal thoughts on something or maybe just share about my experience on, I don't know, on everything I do, probably in college or my holiday trip, probably. I just wanted to give my vlog something. To post. I used to be really great at blogging. I mean, I, I used to be to be really, really committed in blogging during my teenage years. You know, yeah. Wish me luck. I hope that I got the commitment to actually do it. You know, my problem is that I don't have the commitment to do something. I mean, look at this channel. It has been abandoned for a few months now. And the next goal, the, and the last goal, the fifth goal would be. talk less and smile more because I have been talking a lot lately and my mom said I talk a lot too even though I kind of don't talk a lot when I when I meet people if you have met me and I haven't talked a lot that's not actually me I do talk a lot not just that I, I talk a lot in social media too I have been tweeting everything like what what would I want to eat when will I go to sleep and Oh my god, I am starving. Yeah. And those aren't really necessary to actually tweet or post. I mean, you know, yeah, let's just hope that I will talk less and smile more. Smile. So I guess that's it 
for this video. I hope that I will achieve my 2017 goals probably and not just talk. I should probably I mean start now. Tell me your 2017 goals in the comments below. I would love to read them and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully. Bye! Thank you.